Okay guys, here's what you should have in your permit book on the truck. Uh, simple three ring binder from Walmart. First page is going to be my letter of authority. Um, this one, uh, which one is this one? Common carrier. Back side is going to be my contract carrier. Next is medical card. Next is the uh, cab card. Next is going to be your IFTA license. Next is going to be your insurance. And on the back side of my insurance, I included my MCS 90 form. Um, the vehicle ID cards from my insurance carrier. Next is going to be your UCR registration. On the back side of that, I've got my 2290 for the current year. Next is the uh, truck registration, trailer registration, annual inspection for the truck and the trailer the stickers i keep in the book there's no reason to put them on the truck they fade and um there's no rule that says you have to have them on the outside of the truck as a sticker uh next one is the uh inspection instructions um and a reference card for the eld next this happened last year sometime i saw on facebook that somebody viol got a violation for um this in 49 cfr uh i did some googling i found this write up from landstar i think but i have a i have it in pdf i edited it to fit my company and signed it and that covers that for me it's just what to do for a malfunction and my company policy <clears throat> next is uh, eight blank logbook pages that are never to be used so that you're compliant next is weight and distance permit for New Mexico next is the New York hut uh, registration and all that more New York hut this is for the spotted lantern fly that's uh, in Pennsylvania you need that to uh, uh, for the stupid spotted lantern fly thing if you spend the night in Pennsylvania uh, this is for completion of the course and then in the back of my permit book I have the entire manual printed out for the ELD just in case the cops want to be dicks about it alright hope that helps